hi guys. I have a couple videos to do here that I've been meaning to do for a while and um, one of them is for a soap swap that I did and the other one is for a soap that I purchased and um, I'm going to start off with the soap swap one and this has been overdue by like a month and I apologize. Been very busy um, personally and business wise so um, yeah, I've not been able to get on much and definitely not been able to um, upload videos but it's still no excuse. Charlie you were really good about getting my, your video up quickly about the soaps that you got from me and I apologize for not getting this video up earlier. Okay so um, I did the soap swap with uh, Charlie and his YouTube channel is Crafts by Charlie and I believe he also has an Etsy store now and so I'll try to put the link below to that as well um, and I'll definitely put the link to his YouTube channel in here and Charlie does all kinds of different crafts um, and um, you know very talented guy I I, I I was gonna say discovered his channel but I didn't discover his channel um, Danny Mrs. Crafty 100 had done a video showing um, uh, Charlie that he was a, a new new generation soap maker and getting into the craft and so I you know went right over to check his channel out and I saw that he had put up a video saying that he wanted to do some soap swaps so I definitely wanted to take advantage of that I love to try different soaps I especially you know I just love to try them all <laughs> but I really also I like trying um, new soap makers uh, soaps because you know they're they're just getting into the craft and discovering themselves and it's really neat to try so there's something about you know those first soaps that you make them being really organic and rustic and uh, just really neat so um, okay so he sent me a um, came in this envelope and it's stamped up there crafts by Charlie and it had this in it for packing which is really nice very natural I like that and he sent me a note here again stamped crafts by Charlie I like your stamp Charlie uh, I don't know did you make that I'd love to learn how to make my own stamp for my my um, Wicked Sensuals. Okay, and then he, there's this little card in here, Crafts by Charlie. Really neat. It's got his information on the back. Okay, so we did two soaps. And, um, okay, the first one here, again, is stamped Crafts by Charlie, and it tells you to use after date, which of course has already gone by because I'm late doing this. And this one, I believe, if I remember right, comes a little striped baggie here. I remember it, I think this one was lavender, and it smells really, really good. I love the look of this soap. You know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know by now how I like, um, I'm drawn to things that are rustic and organic. Um, it's just me. I, I mean, I like all soaps anyway, but I, I tend to always be drawing to the, drawn to those really rustic, organic types of, you know, imperfect <laughs> um, soaps. And this just, you know, my preference. So this one definitely appeals to me in that way. It looks truly handmade. It's got the lavender buds in it. I love the way when he's cut it, the lavender buds have put this very neat pattern on the soap. And it smells, it smells of lavender, but you know it has this cinnamon undertone to me. And please correct me if I'm wrong, Charlie. Did you put some sort of um, cinnamon in there? Or, or is that just me? Because this is really nice. If this is a, just a, a certain lavender, type of lavender scent, it's really nice. I want it. <laughs> because it's it's lavender but it's not that it's not overpowering and it's got that subtle note of cinnamon I swear 
you know, not like hot cinnamon, you know, but like real cinnamon, like, you know, you sprinkled some cinnamon on your oatmeal or something. It's really, really good. I love this. Great job. And then, and it feels creamy. It feels, it's got like a very creamy, creamy feel to it. And then here, again, striped baggie, stamped Crafts by Charlie. And the date he's, he's put on there, the date he used. That's super neat handwriting. Look at that handwriting. I have the worst handwriting. People can't even read my handwriting. I can't even read my handwriting sometimes. It's awful. So this here is, now this one is different in texture than the other one. This one has a very smooth texture, almost like it has more like um, coconut oil or palm oil or, or both in it. Very, very nice. And this one has this, it, the camera isn't picking up. The camera's picking up more like yellow with maybe a hint of orange. But this section here is very pale, like translucent orange. And then it's got a, a it's got on the bottom here like a yellowish orange, and um, looks like he's got some calendula petals there on the top, and along here, and this one here reminds me. It reminds me of a um, orange popsicle, not a cream sickle, like you know. There's a lot of different types of oranges, and I've smelled the ones that, you know, smell like uh, if you just freshly peeled an orange, like the orange zest. And then, you know, I've, I, there's ones that smell like the orange creamsicle with the, the sweet vanilla. They're all really, really good. I love them all. This one is very unique from what I've smelled so far, though. It smells like one of those orange popsicles, you know, the kind that come on the wooden stick and they're pretty tall and, and slender and you can get them, you know, one or the double together that you can break apart. And that's what it smells like. And it's really neat because the soap reminds me of that too. You can't tell looking here on the camera, but it's got this, you know, that orange kind of translucent juicy look to it. <laughs> so it just makes your mouth water smelling it and, and looking at it. It just looks like a, a popsicle. <laughs> so very, very nice, Charlie. Thank you so much for doing this swap with me. Again, I apologize, apologize, apologize for being so late on doing the video. And I know I haven't even really communicated with you much on, you know, when I was going to do it or anything. I've just been very busy. I know that's no excuse, but I really haven't been on YouTube much at all um, lately. And so just it's just been sketchy here and there. And I happened to just get some time to upload the videos today. And I took advantage of that. Very happy. I'm going to be happy now that I've done this video that I can actually use these. I can try them. And the girls are going to be happy that they can try them too. Um, you're very talented. And you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Uh, you're going to, you know, you're make, already making awesome soap and you're just going to continue to get better and better and more and more creative. Very happy to see the new generation getting into the craft. It's very exciting um, and heartwarming to, to know that, you know, it's, it, the craft is going to be continued on and on and on. And, um, you know, I try to educate my children on how to do it and other kids that are interested on how to make soap. And hopefully, you know, it's something that... Um, will continue to you know thrive going forward so thanks so much again for doing the swap Charlie appreciate it and um, great I'll go on to do sensational soaps um, haul next alright thanks so much guys take care bye bye